Have you ever wondered who's truly pulling the strings behind the curtain of our modern world? Are we alone in the universe, or is something watching us from the skies? In recent weeks, a few sightings have skyrocketed across the globe, reigniting our fascination with the unknown. From glowing orbs dancing in the night sky to massive, mysterious crafts that defy explanation, these phenomena leave us questioning what lies beyond our world. Here are some I came across. Holy shit! If you listen, oh my god. In Kokomo, Indiana, mysterious UFO activity has recently caught public attention near the Grissom Joint Air Reserve Base. Residents reported seeing swarms of glowing, fast-moving orbs flickering in the sky and vanishing abruptly. This incident follows sightings of what some describe as a massive 20-mile-long mothership in the same region just a few weeks prior. The size and proximity of these UFO sightings have sparked various theories, with some observers speculating on potential connections to advanced military technology, especially given the base's proximity. However, no official explanation has been provided for the phenomenon. Some of the overlay was used from the YouTube channel Bob Rodham Clinton. It's puzzling, isn't it? Everybody is all fucking... Everybody's losing their shit, myself included. But not because of what's going to be decided on in a couple of days. I'm losing my shit because there's a 20-mile-long mothership that was spotted, supposedly, because this is just for entertainment purposes, TikTok, but supposedly a 20 mile long mothership was spotted over Grissom Joint Air Reserve Base in Indiana. We have video evidence and eyewitness accounts describing a colossal 20 mile long craft soaring through the sky. If the story seems to be flying under the radar, why isn't this making headlines everywhere? With the amount of advanced technology at our disposal, you'd think such an extraordinary event would spark widespread media coverage and scientific inquiry. Instead, it feels like the world is too preoccupied or dismissive to truly explore these revelations. Are we facing a monumental shift in our understanding of aerial phenomena, or is it just another instance of sensationalism being brushed aside? What do you think is holding back the conversation on this fascinating subject? In this clip, we've got Omar from Richmond, California, who caught something wild on October 25, 2024, what looks like a whole fleet of UFOs lighting up the night sky. But this gets even more interesting. On October 27, 2024, in Georgia, a man by the name of Colt Lee films what appears to be the same UFOs in his night sky. Is this a coincidence? I don't think so. Take a look at both videos and tell me what you think. What is this? It's wild to think that two separate people in different states and just days apart are capturing what looks like the same UFOs. I mean, are we really looking at a massive alien fleet here, or is it something else entirely? The timing and similarities in their footage have me questioning everything. Close up. There it is, baby cakes. That's definitely something. It's almost like a floating humanoid, but I'm not so sure on that one. Let's go look at that video again, but slow down. Maybe it'll give us some answers. Let's examine this a little better. Because when you look closer, it could be kind of humanoid shape. Could be a balloon. Could be a drone of some kind. Not sure. But I am sure it was flying, unidentified, and an object. And while it's similar to this thing, which has been videoed in a couple different places, it's not exact. 
My question to you, Bushkis, what do you think this could be? As much as I want to say balloon or drone myself, I'm leaning towards unknown. But your opinion is the opinion that matters to me. When we look closer, there's a hint of humanoid shape, but it's still uncertain. This is where it gets interesting. Similar objects have been spotted in various locations, but none match this one exactly. It's interesting to see this ball-shaped object hovering over Great Britain, and yeah, it definitely gives off that drone vibe. Sis, I got an idea. Yeah, I got an idea, because I saw something like that before. Let me show you what I think it could be, and then I'll show you a longer video of the original object. This was pictured over the US not so long ago itself, and I'm telling you, I gotta believe that's a drone. Looks like a drone to me. While technically it's an unidentified flying object, because it's flying, it's an object, and it's unidentified. I absolutely believe this thing's a drone. It's got lights on it, it's got seals. Yeah, that looks man-made to me. And this, from Great Britain, looks real similar. See what it's got- But then I start to think, how in the world is it managing to stay up there without wings or a visible propeller? It really makes you wonder about the technology we have that isn't widely known. Considering how much the government keeps under wraps, who's to say they don't have some advanced tech hiding in plain sight? It's like every time we think we've seen it all, something pops up that challenges our understanding of flight. 10 billion robots on planet Earth by 2040, costing anywhere from 20 to $25,000 each. Robots really are amazing. They have the potential to take on those tedious, repetitive tasks that can drain our time and energy, allowing people to focus on more creative and fulfilling work. Future Investments Conference via WebEx, and this is exactly what he stated. This is a current look at the humanoid robots that are going to be available real soon. You have Neo at five foot three, weighs 66 pounds, can run up to 7.4 mile per hour and on down the line through all of the different robots. These are what we're going to see on our streets. The biggest one is Atlas by Boston Dynamics. He comes in at 180 pounds. The fastest robot is Unitree, built in China, that can run 11 mile an hour. They're estimating more robots on planet Earth than humans by far. China's government has stated they will be in mass production of robots by next year and have their performance down to a science by 2027. Clearly, there's a race among countries to see who can develop the robots the fastest. I'm pretty sure everybody has seen Terminator, and I have to say, with more robots than humans, this is going to be interesting. What are your thoughts? It's a true game changer, isn't it? But as much as I admire the tech, it's crucial to think about how we use it. I just hope there are enough forward thinking folks out there who want to elevate humanity instead of dragging us down into a dystopian nightmare. I mean, who wants a future that looks like a Terminator? I'd much rather see a world full of abundance and adventure, where exploration and innovation take center stage. It's all about harnessing technology to uplift us and push us toward the stars rather than locking us into a cycle of decline. What are your thoughts on where we're headed? On a plane. The light? Yeah, I can. It's moving. Can I jump this the ball? Yeah, what, what is it? What is that? A UFO. What's a but UFO? But that's, that's, that's not an airplane. That, does not that, that is not an airplane. Yeah.
don't understand what that is. Is it in the hills? No. Is it floating right there? It looks like it's floating. I saw this video on TikTok and I went to find the original to verify that it's true. Have you seen this one? Check out the guy behind her here, his eyes, and then I'm gonna watch it through a filter. This happens three times during this 25 minute speech. Here we go again. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you the original video so you can go and look yourself. This is through a negative lens. Just another way to look at this. Again, this happened three times, so it's not like it happened the whole entire time. I don't know, it's just super, super weird, you know? Uh, something for your nightmares this Halloween. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. Is this, is this normal? It's not edited because, again, I went and found the original and it's at the end here, I'll show you. I put the original in here. I zoomed in, sorry for the quality, it doesn't get any better, but what do you think this is? Just bad quality? Something more? There's the original. Take a look. It's probably just a camera glitch or some clever editing. But man, seeing those so-called demon eyes during such a crucial presidential race is unsettling, to say the least. It really makes you wonder about the state of our media and how easily images can be manipulated. In a time when every little detail is scrutinized, it raises questions about what's real and what's just smoke and mirrors. What do you think? Are we being fed a narrative designed to distract us? Or is this just another example of the internet's penchant for sensationalism? It's definitely creepy, and it leaves you questioning the motives behind these visuals. The following video is from a young man named Jose. He had decided to go on a camping trip. And on his very first night in the woods, he was absolutely terrified. He captures something surrounding his tent. Es imposible que en este lugar haya niños. ¿Hay alguien? Buenas noches. Uy. It's unsettling to imagine what could be lurking outside the tent, especially with such eerie sounds surrounding him. The idea of capturing something so horrifying on video raises so many questions. Are those really children, or is it something else entirely? What could be out there in the dark? The isolation of camping only adds to the fear factor. It really makes you rethink spending the night in the great outdoors. So I just saw this in the news, multiple dangerous asteroids all approaching the Earth at about the same time. Yeah, for the past couple days till the next couple days. From about October 24th till the end of the month, these things are just skeet scat and shab dabbing all around the Earth. And you know what it got me to thinking of? Another asteroid that's been hanging around the Earth. What they're calling the second moon, or mini moon. If you don't know about it, I made about five videos, you can go look them up. So, is someone trying to tell me that it's just a coincidence that during the same time we get this mini moon, which is an asteroid, we get the busiest month for asteroids in just about recorded history? And let's not forget what else has been popping up this month. We've had more UFO sightings, at least what I've seen, in pictures, videos, news reports, than any other time that I can remember. 
I know there have been a lot of UFO sightings throughout the past couple years, but I'm talking about a bunch in the past two weeks. So my question to you is, do you think this swarm of asteroids that just happens to be coming around the Earth at the same time that we have a mini moon and a bunch of UFO sightings, is just some kind of coincidence? Or maybe is it something else? It's refreshing to end on such a positive note. A shout out to the innovators who genuinely care about each other is exactly what we need. Just think about it. 20 years from now, human cyborgs could be doing incredible things that we can't even imagine today. It's an exciting thought that highlights the potential for collaboration and compassion alongside technological advancements.